Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for part number 35 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. Anyways guys, I'm not 100% sure where I left off previously only for the simple fact that it's been a few days since I've recorded last. And uh, part 34, 35 are recorded um, together. Well, you know what I mean. It's Sort of, in the same proximity. Anyways, guys, so I know for one thing um, that is certain, uh, yeah, we're trying to get with Tara. <laughs> this girl is a dying piece, and honestly, I don't think, I'm actually a little surprised that Austin would allow such a woman into his life. Like, she is just, I have no idea. She is just beautiful to me. Um, she's just gorgeous and stunning and i kind of hope that something becomes of the two honestly it looks like before we hop in writer is in need of some serious attention uh and i don't know if khan is actually on that or not he's going to go talk to his mom his mom's kind of getting a little ornery in her old age um and she's trying, she's just trying to like be all over the place. I don't know. But if you didn't remember, we did move. This is our brand new abode again by Steph Sims. And uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of digging it. I don't know if this volume is too loud. But hopefully, <gasps> Ooh, we gotta, do we seriously? Oh my gosh, congratulations. Cheers, impressive performance has earned her a promotion to best girl. Hey, as well as a bonus of 252 damn dollars. That's it. Um, the best girl is often not the best and is required by law. Typically, not a girl. Okay. As a lackey to the director, stars, and even more seniors, best girl. It's your job to get it done regardless of the cost and dignity. Oh my gosh. Basically, in a nutshell, sounds like we got the short end of a very short stick. I don't know, but it doesn't sound very exciting. Sherry should be on her way home. Ryder is drinking his bottle. Connor is also doing what? He is going to... Ooh, he's going to serve some tapioca pepper steak. That sounds delish. And our Austin Boston over here is eating um, some chili con carne. And uh, next, I think he's going to go lay a move on Little Mrs. Um, Tara here. And we're going to try to get her to be our, our boo thing. We have a really good relationship with her. And it's been a long time coming. What is he doing? He was like licking the plate, but off the chair. I don't know. Glitches galore is what I'm going to start naming these parts. <laughs> like, I don't know what is going on with my game. And it's not just these people. It's like every single family that I do Let's Plays on. It's going crazy. It's going nuts. Where are you going? Um, okay, there's clothes on the floor. And you're checking out my dad. Por qué? I don't know why. Uh, all I really want to do, boo-boo, is just get it going. Get it going. So, very awkwardly. In the kitchen, we are going to flirt, and then we are going to proceed to give her a besito. So, all right. I don't know why we're making this so damn difficult. All righty. Ooh, la, la. He is, like, so short compared to her. Do you see it? It's because of those stilettos. Do you see her shoes? <gasps> Austin. Oh, yes. Get it, girl. <laughs> You're kissing my forehead. Why? I don't know. Eskimo kisses. That is so exciting. They are romantically involved. And he is just going to lay it on her. So thick and so smooth. Let's just call him so suave. <laughs> like a cheap shampoo, girl. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, <clears throat> we're not going to, like, you know. You know, um, get like, go, go all the way, <laughs> you know, we're going to keep it easy with her before we actually start trying to be a boyfriend and girlfriend, just kind of what I'm saying. Oh, look at Amelia. She's taking care of little dude. So what I'm going to have, um, Blake do is I'm trying to find a toilet up in this BZ. They're still being romantic. Uh, he's going to use the bathroom and go to sleep. He wants to get Tara a gift, which is perfect because I kind of think that would be, um, you know, something nice to do. I, I am actually slightly shocked that he would do such a thing. So we're going to have him go sleep in his brand new bed. Mm, so exciting. That's actually something I need in real life is a bed. Like my bed is... It's so old. <laughs> Seriously, it's very old. So he's going pee -pees. And it looks like uh, Kirsten was trying to get in there too. I think Ryder Die could actually go sleep. Um, 
So let's have Kirsten put her in the crib. Sherry was eating some foods. Do we have a maid here? Hmm, I don't think we do. Um, and I think Connor's actually gonna go to sleep too. So it kind of appears to me everybody is going to sleep. I don't know where Tara is. She is currently... Looks like she has a book in her hands. Okay, yeah, she's about to read a story. What kind of book is she reading? Um, physically fit to be tied. What does that mean? Are you, ex like, expecting to be married? Hitched? I love her shoes. Like, can I please find a pair like that? Because those Mary Janes are sick! Ah, I love her outfit. Okay, so now that Kirsten has put Ryder in the, uh, bathroom is it me or is this toilet like severely disformed okay it is when you pull away it gets all weird um but we're gonna have her go ahead and go to bed too i forgot where her bed was exactly okay this is amelia's bed i'm gonna sneeze <gasps> i'm gonna i'm gonna <coughs> oh my gosh sancho oh Woo. oh my goodness you guys i don't know what it is allergies like a mofo Oh my goodness, I've been sneezing so much and it kind of, <sighs> it's gotten to the point where I just kind of want to rip my nose off and throw it out the window. Have you ever had one of those moments where you just kind of want to get like a nutcracker and just chop the damn thing off? No? Maybe I just go from one extreme to another. So, um, explain to me why Amelia is just chilling in the rain. Yeah, just chilling in the rain. I love this girl. Do you, do you see her? She's just so like, damn, like fly. Like, I love her. Uh, I was gonna see if we could uh, try to get to get the I don't know if he'll come over it's it's worth a shot like I don't know if it's going to work or not but we will try we're gonna invite him over okay it's gonna be sorry it's too late to come over right now aka your dad's gonna oh just kidding I was gonna say your dad's gonna come out with a freaking shotgun shotgun and shoot me uh what are you doing boo boo I don't know. Okay, let me see. Let's just go wait by the stairs here. Alright, we're in our bathing suit. Let's get into something a little less skimpy. Do some everyday, shall we? You have school tomorrow. Where is this guy? I feel like he is taking his sweet time. Really, though. Um, let's text him. I hope he comes over. I forget that he lives kind of far away. And what I mean by, like, far away, like, he lives all the way all the way it turns up i'm just kidding <laughs> he lives all the way over here and it appears to me that he is out at the moment so he has to drive wait is this him did he just leave okay let's see let's take a peeky peek um i don't see anybody in this car so that could mean this is just like a random taxi um but yeah so he has to come up from all the way over here all the way over here so with that we should be a little more patient um let's just text our dad or something okay actually that didn't take that long at all he wants to become friends with lakey poops okay so he is here uh i'm going to invite him inside this is so not okay his dad my dad connor rather is gonna probably get pissed off and punch this guy square in the face but that's okay let's drop down these walls here um, he's reading his text messages that I sent him and he's so excited. I like him. I don't know why y'all don't like him. Should we change him up a little bit? I think we should. So we'll do it later. <laughs> Cause I feel like in all my other videos, that's all I've been doing is just changing clothes. But, um, I like him. I mean, I think he could work. Be a little vampire babies. Okay. So can I, uh, rebellious. I don't know if I can be friendly and ask to prom. Okay, I'm assuming... Okay, somebody said this could happen. I want to ask about his alma mater. And then I want to congratulate him on, like, graduating, I guess. Um, why is... Oh, I invited everybody inside? Ugh. Okay, enthused about music, sure. Why don't you go to bed? Go sleep with freaking um, your man or whatever he is or isn't. I don't know. Okay, so let me see here. What else can we do? Uh, uh, I don't know what else to say. I actually don't think we can, you guys. Like, I'm serious. Like, I just don't think it's possible. I mean, we're going to have her obviously go to prom, but as far as, like, her 
asking him to prom. I don't think that's happening, you guys. I really don't. That sucks because I was kind of hoping they would, you know, but they're kind of boosting their relationship, right? That sucks. I'm pretty positive if they were boyfriend and girlfriend, that would have been okay. So the only thing you can really do is just kind of continue on, um, you know, getting to know him. That's all you can really do, and I think her homework is done. Yes, so we're going to have her go to sleep now, too, as well. Um, if everyone just wants to hang out and take pictures, I'm totally chill with that. That's right. And there's a whole extra room here. Oh, that's because it's hers. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I could have had Blake live here. Um, but we're going to have her use the restroom and then go ahead and go to sleep. Um, I don't know what Tara's doing and what the other guy is doing. I think she actually went upstairs to go sleep with. Yeah, it looks like she's going to go um, to bed now. Right? Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. Casey Springston has been flirting with Reed Hobbs. Oh, that's just sick. I'm pretty positive that's, like, illegal on so many levels. Dude, what? Um, since when do you flirt with your freaking brother, you nasty? I mean, isn't it technically? I mean, you're half-brother. That's not even legal. I don't even know. I don't have questions because I don't have answers. So, and she can't sleep because technically there's stuff in the way, or um, you know, whatever else could be the, the actual reason for it. I don't even know. Um, but I'm gonna go to sleep. I know that. So while she's figuring it out, she can just deal pretty much in a nutshell. So I think everyone's okay. We're just going to double check because I don't want people waking up at no like two o'clock in the morning. Um. And, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and zoom on through, zoom, zoom, and I will see you all in the manana. Alrighty, so Harry Man Beast is awake, and it appears to be a leisure day, so obviously we are going to throw a massive pool party and invite everybody in the mother um, to come hang out with us today, so let's go ahead and schedule that, like, right freaking now. I think that it'll be so much fun. Um, yeah, we'll invite everybody that we know, like everybody, and, and we'll be able to see Blake, and we'll be able to see his girl, and things of that sort. I wonder if I can actually, artificially, have Blake and his girl have kids. I don't know. I might have to work on that. We'll try. So we're going to do a pool party. Got it. Good. Uh, we're going to definitely not do it for 7. Probably we'll do it for 11 a.m., just so it gives us a little, eh, you know what, make it for 10. Make it for 10 a.m. swimwear, obviously. Hopefully it'll be sunny. Uh, we're going to do Tara. We'll invite Ly uh, Lilo. She's actually old now. It's crazy. Um, we're going to do, uh, let's see. We're going to obviously invite Carson. We're going to do Hobbs. Uh, who else? Let me just look here. Um, we're going to not do Ravini, obviously. That would be a little bit creepy. Okay, Blake, Casey, Mila. Forgetting somebody here. Utabad. Um, Athena. Bradley. That's all we have. Okay, so unfortunately, that's just going to have to work. I don't know if I forgot anybody. And I'm not going to even try to remember. So party's going to start at 7 a.m. We have everything that we really need home so we're just gonna like cook up some food and and stuff and of course kirsten can help out with that so all connor's gonna do is probably go take a quick shower and kind of get ready for the day austin is currently oh <laughs> sharing the bed with tara uh he's actually gonna go swim a little bit earlier in the morning but we're gonna let him squeeze in a quick shower before everybody freaking tries to get in there um, Athena's really excited because she wants to have a pool party, obviously. And she probably is also happy that she doesn't have to go to school. Um, doesn't appear to be a 40 or three day weekend, but that's all right. Ride or die is still sleeping. Our man, he needs to play more with this freaking creepy doll here. Um, I don't know if it just stays in his inventory or what, but we're definitely going to try to aim for it to be a, a, I don't know, um, a thing. I don't know. I've never... I mean, I feel like he plays with it a lot and nothing has happened, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to let him come out of the crib so he doesn't sleep all day long. Let's go ahead and hold, Ryder. Okay. Let's grab him really quick. And then does he need anything? Uh, he is a little bit hungry, so let's just go ahead and uh, feed him on the floor real fast. 
and I do need to change up his bed so let's just do that while we're at it I wonder if I could kind of contemplate this here because I love the color palette into this um, it's a little feminine but I can make it a little more boyish I think right do this Oh, <laughs> just joking. Okay, yes, I really, really though. I was screwing it up. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Uh, okay, now let's do this. I like it. Yep. Yeah, okay. And the only other thing I want to do is just take out the um things here, and then that should be pretty good the rest is actually it's a really beautiful beautifully decorated room i love the way this chick decorates because she is talented just a few things don't really match so much for what we are going for in this specific household but i love how homey everything feels and i'm not talking like homey like hey what side but i'm talking about like home homey like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me, though. You feel me, though. Okay, make a dream. Entertain six kids. We can get some celebrity points. Sure, Amelia's going through a freaking mood swing. All right, we need to have Sir Craps a lot. Go ahead and um, start grilling up some damn hot dogs. How about that? And we're gonna let. Uh, this guy here play and sing a peanut till his little heart pretty much just collapses we're gonna try for the next three days to do what we got to do okay we have more phone calls wow connor you must be popular because you are blowing up sir and uh we got austin here just being so freaking attractive like oh my god he is just beautiful his face his everything he wants to travel abroad oh i wish he could with tara that'd be awesome um what is he gonna go to do he's gonna go ahead and swim everybody is just like ready to dip in it is a beautiful sunny day or well it's actually 70 degrees again it is eight o'clock so what do you expect sherry i don't know what she's doing she's still freaking sleeping she's totally um ko'd and i love these little details of this house. Okay, the pool party's soon trying to break out those floats. As much as I would love to break out the floats, people steal that crap and they take it home. So I don't really like that too much, but I guess I could get a couple floats and just keep them in everyone's inventory, right? Okay. She is so freaking skinny. Like, she's so small. I can't even understand it. Can't even understand it. Can't even understand it. All right, we'll just do like a couple and we'll let them share because you know we may not have anything when we come back to it um i wonder if i could put in a i think that looks kind of cool right there right a little bit i don't know how i feel about it yeah it looks pretty cool just leave it like that i guess okay so what i'm gonna do is just kind of color coordinate them Make one like a boy one and then one a girl one. I can even just do random stuff like this. It doesn't even matter. Athena's is going to have black in it, obviously. So, ha, 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 ha. And I'll let them dip on in and um, play with the floats and stuff. I wish they had other floats. Like, more water toys, dude, for the pool. Like, I feel like the pool is always slacking. And it's such a fun place to be, you know? I feel like they could really do a little bit more with it. I do. I really feel like they could. So, Austin, I'm going to give him this one for now. And he is going, he still has this little toy alligator in here. He's going to relax. And then so is Amelia. And then, woo, Kirsten doing a belly flop, girl. Still got those sunglasses, though. How cute. This actually looks kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. Let's check out Austin, shall we? I wonder if I can just kind of zoom everything down here. He is so... <gasps> Ow! Muy caliente. Ay, que rico. And look at Amelia. They are so one and the same. A lot of you guys tell me how you feel like they um, are very... Well, like, Austin's a very um, mild character, and, like, he doesn't have a lot of personality. I feel like out of all of them, Austin and Amelia probably have the most personality, as you would say. Like, I feel like they um, they just have a lot of vibrancy. Um, I mean, out of the offspring, you know. I mean, Blake and them wasn't really too hot, but I wonder how his relationship is turning out with this doll. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's going pretty well. I mean, he has a lot of relationship with him. Okay, let's just see if anything has actually came up. 
Um, okay, your first guest has arrived. Okay, that's great. We have no relationship with Blake. I think it's Blake that arrived, actually. So hopefully everybody will come and hang out and eat. That would be great. So and we're just going to call everyone to the meal. Sherry's coming. And then there is, I think, either Casey or oh, Tara. Oh, God, she's so cute. <laughs> so we got Tara. We've got Connor. Everybody's kind of just enjoying themselves, having some hot chos. Some hachitos. Uh, Sherry is just waiting patiently and there's a hacho on the ground. Nobody needs to be wasting the hacho, so we'll just put that one up there. Um, and let Sherry kind of grab it, I guess, because then that way she doesn't have to fight with everybody. Just go and eat a damn organic tofu dog, please. Don't make it so damn difficult, girl, because it ain't that serious. Where's Connor these days? He is going to go on the trampoline with his flippity flops. And there is... Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun! Austin! What are you doing? You are cooking. Okay. There he is. <laughs> Whoa! Look how fun! Yeah! You're killing it, dude! Oh my gosh, there's Blake! Get off the tramp! <clears throat> oh, I mean, um... The trampoline! I mean the trampoline. <laughs> That's all we see. It just totally came out that way. Okay, can we ask... Yeah, ask him to join. Uh, yes, this is your son. Come on. They are so built all the same. I love it. Come on! This is so fun. I wonder how many sims can be on here. Look at them. They're just having a great old time. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yay. Look at them. Having a blast. Having a blast. Jumping on that trampoline real fast. I wonder what they could do. Can you do tricks on it after you do this for a while? Oh my gosh. They're actually kind of giving me a minor um, headache. But that's okay. So what I wanted to do, aside from all this fine, I want to look at their face. Look at, 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 hello, belly button. Woo! So excited. And I can't hide it. Where's my dad? Whoa! What a view. <laughs> okay. Look at those feet. <laughs> I'm so funny. I don't know, really, though. Not really that funny. Um, But I wanted to try something in Enras. Enras. Gotta roll all the R's. Okay, so I wanted to see if I could. I don't know though. Um, advanced. No. Basic. Uh, pollinate. Uh, okay, pollinate what exactly? Long term relationship. Number of children. No, I was just seeing if maybe perhaps. Why possibly we could have, uh, yeah, donor? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Okay, hold on. The donor can't poll pollinate me, though. That's gross. Because I don't want to get pollinated. Ew, I don't even know. I'll, I'll mess with this, like, on a different day. Because if Connor ends up getting pregnant, that's just a little creepy. Like, I don't, that's gross. So, I want to see if... Maybe they could have like babies. Like I could have. Look at Blake. Yes, little competition going on. Jumping on the trampoline. Oh, Lila, hi. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go ahead and get off the tramp here. I want to talk to everybody. How are you? I want to be friendly, and I want to give you a freaking hug. Um, express me for exercise, sure. And then, oh look at Casey. What an outfit. All right, let's just try to be nice here. Um, this is a one hell of a pool party. I love it. No, what are you doing? Ask about Dave. Talk to her. Freaking Athena, though. Like, fit to the brim. So beautiful. Love her so much. She's just gorgeous. Okay, come on. Dude, whatever. If you're not like that. Read Hobbs. Hello. I heard you report with Casey. Wow. Didn't he get ripped, like, recently? And he's so tiny. Okay, maybe I can, like, play some football with somebody or something. Play catch with. Oh, I heard something. I guess we're going to talk to Mila then. You're going to marry my son? Any oh, you are married. <laughs> Just kidding. You have the last name, don't you? You are Springston now, aren't you? Perfect. Okay, well, whatever. Let's check up on Missy over here. She has a phone call a Okay. Um... It'd be great if we could answer it sometime before next Sunday. I wonder who it is, actually. I mean, everybody's here. Bring the bring back the jams. Upgrade the stairs. Oh, certainly. I'll definitely bring back the jams. 
Um, let's get to know Tara for a minute because I kind of feel like we need to ask her, um, ask, ask about her a little bit. I don't know if it'll work though. What happened with Ath Amelia? What happened with Amelia? She's not drowning, is she? Okay, God, I would like die. I would cry a river so large and in charge that not even a barge could, you know, control the emotions I'd feel inside. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's just get to know her because I feel like you're going to be getting my son. You got to make sure you are on the same level because, girl, I am one crazy lady. And you better not cheat on him. That's my job. I kind of think Sherry should get another tattoo, to be honest. I kind of feel like we should. Um, We're just going to get to know her. What is Connor up to? He is making some holy crap. We have so much food. It's ridiculous. I have a... What? This is, I always get Twitter stuff. Always get Twitter stuff. Um. Applebee's. I don't understand. Why do I have an Applebee's thing? I don't understand Twitter. Seriously, you guys. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, you guys. Okay, what is this? Uh, Keelan Sutton followed you. Well, hello, Keelan. Um. Den? Hello, Den. R-H-O-B-O fans favorited my tweet. So freaking pumped for... Uh, I'm real some wives of Starlight Shores. Can't wait. Team GM Cena. Heck yeah. <laughs> so excited. Alrighty, guys. Uh, let me see. Well, how is Ride or Die? He is still playing with his damn doll. He is really, really freaking happy. I'm telling you, if this thing doesn't become a real boy, I'm going to have a heart attack because I don't know what else would do it. Okay. You know what, Dad? You need to be invited over. <gasps> what? Yes. Amelia May. She's becoming a little bit of a troublemaker. Could it be? She is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hear some slappage. I think something happened here. Where is Mila? Where you need her? I think something happened. I'm so serious, you guys. Oh. Oh. <gasps> What happens? Sherry, keep your hands to yourself. What are you doing? What happens? What happens? What happens? What happened? Why are you hitting her? Why are you slapping her? Was she being rude to you? What did she do? Oh, no. 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 Why are you hitting each other? This is not going to be a girl fight. You apologize right now, Missy. Okay? You're going to have bigger problems when your ex comes over. Sorry, she has an alcohol problem. She's a lush. Okay? No, not really. But seriously. Tara, gosh, Austin, can you can you talk to your mother for a second? She just slapped your freaking yeah, berate her ignorance, please. Don't let her do that to your girl. Mom, how embarrassing. You're sitting here making a fool out of you know what I mean? Like, me. Like, mom. Like, this is my girl. I love her. I like her. And you're just embarrassing me. I know you're close to me, but you can't be, like, your freaking mother-in-law that she complained about every freaking time. Oh, now you're going to slap your own son? Have you freaking lost your damn mind? <gasps> she is on a roll tonight. Oh, my goodness. He just took one for... Look at his face. He is like, seriously, woman, I don't even know you anymore. Like, I just don't know you. He's going to come over here and give her a hug and try to make her feel better because she probably feels like crap after his mother just freaking slapped the crap out of her and him. Sherry, you need to move to the left, girl. Move to the left. Go, go relax because you've learned too much from Mrs. Um, Kirsten. Where's your dad? Uh-oh. Your dad's here. Oh, my God. He actually showed up. That's the crazy part. Where is he? <gasps> Ravini. And, uh oh, what is going to happen? Isn't this a shocker? We are meeting face to face with the Diablo himself. Well, guys. I don't know. But what I do know is that the drama seems to be coming back. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up part 35. I can only tell you part 36 
is going to be one you probably don't want to miss. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye, guys.